It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Walking Dead Dead City. In this video we're going to be taking a look at some pretty exciting and interesting news when it comes to the premiere episode of Dead City and how successful it's been as well as some reveals about the original plans for the characters of Negan and Maggie who are obviously the core characters of Dead City. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break these down. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. First things first, let's talk about the original plans for the characters of Negan and Maggie. So this is what Lauren Cohan, who of course plays Maggie, had to say about this. She says, before I even went back to The Walking Dead at the end of season 10, Scott Gimple had asked about my interest in either coming back on the show or doing a different show. Originally, what they ended up deciding to do was have me come back on the show and then have Jeff, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who of course plays Negan, and I take over as the leads, obviously. She continues to say, at the time, Norman, Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl Dixon, was going to leave. Andy, Andrew Lincoln, who of course played Drake, had already left. Denia Guerra, who of course plays Michonne, had already left. So, a little bit of pause here. It's definitely super interesting that Daryl was actually gonna leave, much like how Michonne left. So, you see we have like a theme of characters just wanting to leave. And all of this really started after they killed the character of Carl. I'm not saying that those are connected. I'm just saying that it's definitely interesting that all of these actors leaving came about after that. So it seems like there's some sort of connection. I could be wrong, but obviously after Carl died, we had Andrew Lincoln who plays Rick leaving. And then we had Denia Guerrero who plays Michonne leaving. And as you heard, Daryl Dixon's character was also going to leave. So Norman Reedus was also going to leave. It's possible that he was going to come back later to do a spin-off like he's doing right now. But the idea was that he was going to leave as well. So that's definitely super interesting. But she continues to say, we were going to go into season 11 and do four more years with the show. With Jeff and I kind of remaining on The Walking Dead. The original idea was for the show to continue on until season 15. Something like that. After season 11 the key characters or the leads would have been Negan and Maggie, which is definitely super interesting. I mean, if you think about it, they could have still had the storyline for that city in the next four seasons of the show, but mixed that in with seeing characters back at Commonwealth, stuff like that. But they decided to completely end it and do new spinoffs, which is a pretty bold and interesting decision. And then she goes on to say at the end, they had this idea for that city with our characters in a whole new location with a new storyline and that sounded really exciting because it meant we could jump forward in time. So obviously that tells you originally they weren't going to do a time jump. They were going to do a time jump at the end of season 11 but probably not one after that. But they ended up doing it because of this idea of that city being in Manhattan and the storyline with Negan and Maggie and all of that. But that's super interesting. I mean... I'm definitely super intrigued to see what's going to happen in that city and where it goes. It looks like the idea of that city was definitely different at the beginning. There wasn't going to be a dead city. They were going to continue the storyline after season 11, but the leads would just change to Negan and Maggie and focus the story towards them. But now it's a completely different shift because they get their own show which is different than being on a show with a massive cast and just being leads in it. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about when it comes to that. Next, let's talk about the premiere and how well it did. We now know that the premiere episode debuted with 683,000 viewers on AMC, which is pretty big. I mean, I don't know the numbers for other premieres, but this is definitely substantial. On BBC America and IFC and a couple of replays pushed the first night on air total to 1.12 million viewers, 
which is pretty big as well. But that just goes to show you that it had a strong start. I mean, the episode itself was big and great. I really enjoyed it. It was a great start. And obviously the viewers' ratings also proves that people watched because they were excited for it. And I think it delivered. And now we just have to hope that it continues to be this great for future seasons that it's going to have. Obviously we know... They were going to do four seasons with Negan and Maggie being leads. And we know that they're going to do at least four seasons of Dead City. So that matches and that lines up. So they're going to have four seasons. Let's hope that all four seasons are as great as the premiere episode was. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to go through in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.